Hello, this is Artifacts of Mars, and I uh, saw this on chat group, my chat group, and I decided to take a look at the uh, facts on so-called Glitifact, Punditfact, uh, .com. Glitifact.com is named, and they have this page, Punditfact. Okay, so let's check out their claims that they're saying Alan West, West is lying. Alan West is one of my favorites. And I decided to check out their claims about his so-called lies. Okay. Uh, first one, Navy is bringing charges against Navy officer shot at Chattanooga shooter for illegally discharging a firearm on federal property. This one's kind of murky. Uh, I haven't been able to find anything definitive one way or the other on it. But, according to the CBS News report, August 4, 2015, the Navy was seriously considering and uh, putting charges against him and uh, Jim Webb, who might actually do a third party run for president. He's an, he's a veteran. He's not all bad. Uh, he's a Democrat, but he's not all bad. Um, this one, this story's a little murky, there's been no update on it, but at the time this was written, the Navy was definitely thinking about charging him. So, PolitiFact, uh, I seriously doubt that one. Your nose is growing longer, Pinocchio. This one's rather murky, like I said. I don't find any updated information, really. Uh, so we'll move on to the next one. But the Navy was considering bringing charges. There's no question about that. Okay, EPA wants to regulate farm family barbecue. Despite what... Uh, PolitiFact says this one is true, and I can prove this one. Uh, this has to do with propane barbecues. Technology for the reduction of par particulate matter emissions for residential propane barbecues. What they're doing is they're looking at uh, doing this. Whether or not they'll ever get around to it, that I don't know, but uh, in California, California, they've basically done away with barbecues, just about. I, th I think you have to use propane or something, like this is talking about, then they want to regulate this. Now, this is a study. These people always start with studies. If you see the study, they're locked on target. Believe me. So this one is true. PolitiFact lied about this one. You are a liar. Liar, liar, pants on fire. You know, West is truthful. U.S. troops are getting... Only four hours of Ebola training before deployment to Liberia. Again, PolitiFact is lying about this. U.S. soldiers in Liberia receive four hours of Ebola training and are quartered in hotels. This one's an outdated story, but uh, it's right here in black and white. PolitiFact is lying about this. They get about four hours of training and then they go out in the field. 
I don't know how, really, but at least the epidemic uh, was contained. Well, this site isn't cooperating. Unfortunately, I'm sorry about that. It won't go away from the top. But right here in your uh, U.S. soldiers in Liberia received four hours of Ebola training and are quartered in hotels. So PolitiFact lied about that. You are a liar. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Next one. Obama uh, is enlisting order. Obama ordered our military to enlist illegal aliens. This might uh, take time to come up, so I'm going to put it on hold. This one is true. Right here it is in black and white, westernjournalism.com. Uh, the Hill reports that since January, the Army has enlisted anyone illegal immigrants who received deportation deferrals under Obama administration's Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals DACA program. Congress is debating whether illegal immigrants should be lawfully allowed into the military. Good God, they debate that? Representative Ruben Gallego, Democrat, Arizona, asserted a provision into the 2016 defense budget to encourage the enlistment of qualified illegal immigrants. Qualified? They're here breaking the law? And they're qualified? What on earth? That is incredible bullshit. So, PolitiFact lied about that. Okay, last one for today. Uh, backdoor gun control is in full effect in the United States to Obama's Environmental Protection Agency. Like the first one, this one's a little bit on the murky side. I did find what they're doing is they're going after lead smelting plants. And they put regulations so badly on one that they uh closing down. It might take a minute to come up, so hang on. Okay. Plant and called Doe Run. Uh, they're no ranger of the EPA the policies. Basically, drove them out of business. But whether that has anything to do with Obama and gun control, that I don't know. They might have a point, or they might not. I'm putting this one in my gray box because. It does look mighty suspicious. This would be the way that one of the ways that Obama would operate. This is a maybe on this one. Well, I don't give PolitiFact very high ratings at all. I don't think they're uh, a terribly credible source. Uh, bullet, there's still plenty of lead for bullets, but the problem is the government bought up so many, so many bullets that it's created massive ammunition shortages. That's the way they've been working it. See, these are control freaks and tyrants, and, you know, tyrants hate having a civilian population armed for obvious reasons. They can be overthrown and wind up in front of a firing squad. So they'll, tyrants, control freaks, will do anything they can to see to it that you don't have guns. I don't think he has any. He's done enough uh, things otherwise. I don't think he really needs the EPA for this. <coughs> 
But it doesn't matter. Obama's been going after our guns ever since he's been in office. Does it in sneaky ways, like I said, buying up ammunition and that type of thing. Interfering with the market and making things more expensive. And he does it with your money. So I'd say this story's probably... This story's reasonable even if that isn't the intention behind it. I don't know. Kind of a gray box one. I wouldn't uh, give two cents for uh, PolitiFact and their uh, so-called fact-checking. I'm Artifacts Mars. Thanks for watching.